Kim Kardashian says she feels good about romance with Pete Davidson. Kim Kardashian has finally opened up about her relationship with Pete Davidson. It appears that she is in a good place right now in her love life. People said that the reality star shared some details about her romance during an interview with Ellen DeGeneres for The Ellen Show. She initially touched on the subject of making their ties Instagram official, joking that it is not official until you post it. Kardashian revealed that she has the cutest pictures of them, implying that she always wanted to share them with the public. But, she would remind herself not to be so desperate, and not be posting so much. The Skims founder continued that she does know what the right thing to do, considering she had not dated since before Instagram existed. She added that she has knowledge of what the rules are these days. In the same engagement, Ellen DeGeneres told Kim Kardashian that she sees a shift in the reality star. The host, also, pointed out that there is a knees to her, showing a whole different side. In response to the celebrity talk show host, the mother of four admitted that it feels good. She continued that she went for it, she took her time, and she found her happiness. In the end, she repeated that she feels so good, adding that she wants to hold on to that forever. Elsewhere in the interview, the KKW Beauty founder talked about the tattoos and brand that Pete Davidson had for her, as well. The engagement comes days after Kim Kardashian made her romance with Pete Davidson official on social media. Page Six said that she posted photos of her and her boyfriend on Instagram about a week after a judge declared her legally single. As reported, the images appear to be from one of the pair's date nights during the Valentine's Day weekend. Kardashian was said to be wearing the same sets of ensembles, and so was Davidson. In one of the pictures, which has since attracted the public's attention, the two celebrities can be seen making kissy faces at each other as they take the selfie together. Us Weekly states that Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson have a very unexpected romance. They shocked their fans and followers in 2021, and have not slowed down since especially with their joint PDA-filled outings and engagements. The reality star and the Saturday Night Live player first sparked dating rumors in October. It was after they shared a kiss on a sketch when she hosted on SNL earlier that month. Witnesses have since spotted them on various multiple occasions. But, it was only recently that they broke their silence to talk about their romance before the public. Kanye West allegedly asked Marilyn Manson to break up Pete Davidson, Kim Kardashian in the creepiest way. Apparently, he is taking a shocking approach to his ongoing divorce. Kanye West is locked in an embarrassing feud with Pete Davidson over Kim Kardashian. Nary a day goes by without new attacks on Instagram. One report says West is turning to his friend and alleged rapist Marilyn Manson for help getting his wife back. Can Voodoo undo Kim and Pete? Per The Globe, West has tasked Manson with carrying out a voodoo curse to tear Kardashian and Davidson apart. A source says Manson is very interested in voodoo and witchcraft, and he's convinced West that a ritual could bring Kardashian back. Kanye is devoutly religious so he won't be doing any rituals, but he's probably not going to get in the way. Manson is currently embroiled in numerous rape allegations against him. But West has still seen fit to feature him on Donda 2. A tipster says the two are now BFFs. Kanye is one of the only folks who've shown Manson public support since all these allegations came out, so of course, the rocker wants to do whatever he can to stay in his good graces, they explain. What's going on with Manson and Yee? Marilyn Manson is a shock artist who says a lot of things strictly for attention. It's part of his lifestyle but it makes it difficult to parse fact from fiction. His religious beliefs are therefore murky. He once claimed to be an ordained minister in the Church of Satan, but the Church confirmed this was not true. He's also stated he's spiritual and was raised Christian. The official website for the Church of Satan denies any link to non-pagan religions or voodoo. It is inherently an atheist philosophy. Manson has never publicly announced an interest in witchcraft or voodoo either. As the story itself mentions, West is a devout Christian who has literally won Grammy Awards for making Christian records. Voodoo and other rituals are directly against his beliefs, and he's also never endorsed such practices. Frankly, has given this gross story far too much credit.
It just wants to use Manson's reputation for the occult in some stupid story about West and Davidson. West should be focused on his ongoing divorce. Manson is too focused on suing his rape accusers, namely Evan Rachel Wood, to get involved with West and Davidson's caddy back and forth. Bad History of Gossip The Globe frequently peddles stories like this. It claimed Angelina Jolie was practicing witchcraft to win her divorce from Brad Pitt. There was no evidence to back this up. We also debunked its story about Queen Elizabeth harboring the Holy Grail. The stories were utterly ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, it reported Kanye West wanted to clone himself in an attempt to live forever. West is interested in tormenting his ex-wife, not in making a second version of himself. Manson and West are definitely chummy, but we could find no evidence that voodoo would be employed to strengthen their bond or hurt Kardashian. Kanye West is locked in an embarrassing feud with P. Davidson over Kim Kardashian. Nary a day goes by without new attacks on Instagram. One report says West is turning to his friend and alleged rapist Marilyn Manson for help getting his wife back. Can Voodoo undo Kim and Pete? Per the Globe, West has tasked Manson with carrying out a voodoo curse to tear Kardashian and Davidson apart. A source says Manson is very interested in voodoo and witchcraft and he's convinced West that a ritual could bring Kardashian back, Kanye is devoutly religious 